I know this also gets listened to by many other people around the world. So I'd like to say happy Midwinter's Day to all our friends in other national stations in Antarctica who are keeping the stations warm and alive during the winter. Happy Midwinter's Day. As you said, I'm saying, Paula, to you guys, Julie Baum and Tom Sebastian got married in Antarctica last winter and are back there now. Hello to both. Terry and Johnny, you have been to bed together at Rotherdale and you're now married. What's in the matter? <laughs> You do get to spend a lot of time together and get to know people a lot quicker than you would necessarily do in the real world. Our first winter we weren't actually a couple. And then the uh, last winter, 2015, we were together. And that's been very different to be there as friends and, and in the relationship. But you might be surprised to hear this, but there are some extremely well-traveled people who all have never been to the Antarctica and completely relate to what they are going through. Hello, this is Ethan Ashmore, Tim Peake, wishing all those hardy foals hardy in Antarctica a very happy Midwinter's Day. Cut off from humanity, living in a place where temperatures outside will kill you. I think there are many similarities working for the British Antarctic Survey as there are on the International Space Station. Two years ago, I remember looking down from space on the beautiful continent of Antarctica, and I wonder if where you are right now looking up it must be pretty special too. So enjoy your time there. The sun is coming. And good luck with that naked streak outside. That was astronaut Tim Peake, no other. Terry, you're a marine biologist. You spent four winters at Rothera. How can you do any marine biology when the sea is frozen over? accepted the job as a marine biologist, I never once thought I would have to go on a, a training course on how to use a chainsaw. But that is how we access the sea during the winter. We go out and we cut these holes, normally two ice holes, because the seals like to occupy one of them. That's how we manage to get under the ice and go and carry out our research. And you can walk upside down on the sea ice as well, which is uh, a lot of our favourite. After we finish doing our work and we come up on our safety stuff, we can then have a little walk underneath the sea ice before we pop up to the dive hole. Please tell me you've got ropes on. Yes. Basically, that's very safety conscious. And can you tell me the main focus of your research? Mostly, it's looking at the effect of climate change, and we're looking at uh, the effect of sea warming, ice reduction. So we're looking at how this is affecting the animals that live there. Well, it's a special time of the year, as I said. So grab yourself a whiskey, and we're going to go over to some wolves that let people just hanker into be with you. Hello, there. This is John Coulter here, just to wish you all the very best, just to say thank you for all the amazing work that you're doing. We love hearing the stories of you there. We wish you well. I'm going to try and say that I don't know why. But I was there, I think I'm going to try and say it well. And a very nice china. I've been a thousand fine, all handled, so it's off me coat. I hope in the spot of you. Lots of love. Night, night. And I hope you're very happy when it becomes daylight in August or whatever. Later. Now we're going to go to the largest of these things that you've been in the top of Rave, I imagine. It's Rotherham. Home this winter, 25. Scientists and support staff. Hope you know.